there. No Brian, there's a leopard. <laughs> He's right there. To the, <laughs> just the other side. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Male and female. <laughs> to the, <laughs> just the other side. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Male and female green winged pytelia. Two blue axe bills and a leopard. Very nice. Let's turn around. And to the viewer who congratulated Byron for finding animals before me in your eye double fold. <laughs> May your eyes be watering with shame. <laughs> there is Sandila, everybody. That's who we were looking for from that rather ridiculous log just crossing into Juma and I think looking for his mum definitely definitely in his old hunting ground this is exactly where his mum used to leave him when she used to go foraging exactly around here in this corner you can see this you saw the signs on the road up ahead there now this is the corner between Arethusa and Juma and Hoffman's to the south there basically in the direction where you're looking now He's heading straight on to Juma at the moment. Let's just keep with him. Oh, he's so lovely. If he carries on this direction, he's going to... If we are, he'll go south across the boundary. I can't believe we've... I, can't, I actually can't believe we just stopped there. And there he walked past us. Let me get around him, Brian. At least three or four. A pride. There he is. What a stroke of luck that is. I just thought I'll come do one quick turn around here. He definitely hasn't caught anything since this morning. Oh, I just wanted to tell you, while we watch him walk, this is a bit, bit distasteful, so I hope you haven't just had your lunch. But um, when Viam and I went back after we left you this morning, we left him and he had just vomited. I don't know if you remember, but he just vomited on, on a termite mound and we went and looked. And in, uh, in the middle of the vomit, which was uh, deeply disgusting, was a huge tapeworm. Now, I think that's pretty normal. These animals all carry various strong parasite loads, especially the cats. And so I think all that was, well, I mean, maybe that's why I was vomiting, but I don't think he's any more infected than anyone else, but it was very interesting to see. Let me move a little bit forward, get a slightly better view. See, I avoided the road. He came onto the road just to kind of cross it, but he walked next to it. Oh, what a joy. And you can see there, he's sort of hiding from the road almost. Ah, now HK, you're a new viewer. Wonderful to have you with us. Thank you for your question. You ask a very valid question. What on earth is that collar on the leopard for? Um, HK, the collar is on the leopard because he has just come back from rehab. Now, I know that sounds completely ridiculous, but it is true. He's, um, he's just come back from a rehabilitation center where he was put because we thought he had rabies. He caught a rabid dog at one stage about seven months ago and he was inoculated and put in quarantine and now he's just being monitored so that collar will fall off in a little while in not too I imagine in probably a, m a month or two and then he'll be without it but it's just so that we can ping his whereabouts Isn't that lovely what a great view 
So, I mean, I know, I know it's not the best to see a leopard with a collar on, but at least we get to view him. And he's got such a story, HK. You know, we watched him from being a tiny little cub, and then he killed this dog on his own. Well, he didn't kill it, actually, but he caught it, and it was found to have rabies afterwards, and that was horrible. And we thought he was going to have rabies, and we'd watched him, and we'd enjoyed him for so long. And then it turned out that he didn't have rabies, and they brought him back. Uh, much bigger than he was when he left, of course. He's now 20 months old, and he's still in his mother's territory. He shouldn't... I mean, he wouldn't be ordinarily... He wouldn't ordinarily be independent at this age. Wonderful. So, so Tim in Arkansas, just I'm going to have to give a bit of background before I answer your question. You say you were obviously watching during the the TV special we did, and there was an unbelievable sighting, everybody, of this little fellow reuniting with his mother, who's already got another daughter, and. The fear was that he would try and kill the new daughter because, of course, infanticide by unrelated male leopards to, um, you know, to cubs is enormous. Uh, it's a huge risk. It's the greatest killer of young baby leopards. And she didn't seem to want anything to do with him. That's the mother. She seemed to think that he was a real threat, and she was making a big sort of threatening noise to him, and she was shouting at him and then chasing him. And Tim... I, it's, it's my considered opinion that she was, uh, it's my considered opinion that he wouldn't have harmed that cub. Um, I might be wrong. I don't think he would have harmed that cub. But at the same time, remember just before he left, that's kind of how she was treating him already. So your question about whether or not she was treating him in the same way that she would be anyway at with him being this age, I think is valid. I don't think quite yet, because it's unlikely she would have given birth yet. I think she's probably sort of three or four months early. Now, she did come into Estrus before he left. We know that. And so it's possible that she would have had a cub by this stage anyway. But the males normally don't go independent before sort of two years. So he would be going independent now, and that's how she would be treating a male leopard cub just before he went independent. Maybe not with quite such, such aggression, but she would certainly be uh, trying to distance herself. That said, it wouldn't be unusual to find her and him and the youngster on a kill together. Scott used to mention many examples where he saw that happen with a young male leopard, her, her mother, his mother, and another cub, or the cub from the next generation, um, feeding together and that's before the male becomes independent. Now he will only become, well he's, he's he is independent now, but he will only become territorial probably in about three years, when he's about five. <laughs> 